Hello friends, welcome to this presentation. In this presentation, I will be taking you through the fabrication design of this water stand. Just like this. Alright? So let's start. Alright, so this is my grid set out. If I should, uh, for the sake of those uh, that have just uh, visited the channel for the first time, if I just uh, select on this grid line, you will see the uh, the grid information here. In the Y coordinate, I have this. In the Z coordinate, I have this, and as well in the X coordinate. Okay, so this is the grid information. So you have to just follow this information to be able to set up this A grid lines just like this. Okay, and so I will be navigating to the uh, reinforced concrete uh, tab, so I can be able to uh, actually activate the reinforced concrete column. And I will be considering a reinforced concrete column of uh, 400, just like this, by 400. Right? And so I will be placing it here. Okay? But before then, I want to set the top and the bottom constraint of the reinforced concrete. The top constraint of the reinforced concrete is supposed to be 1000. Right? Just like that. And then the bottom constraint is supposed to be zero, just like this. And then I will have to place it here. You can see. Sorry, not that point this point all right for the foundation okay so after which i will be navigating to the foundation the footings and i'll be using a rectangular footings of a size 1.5 by 1.5 meter just like this and then i want to come to this place to do my top constraint settings to be zero all right then the bottom constraint to be 450 Sorry, minus 450. Just like that. And so I'll pick that point to insert it. Just like this. Alright, so after which, the next thing I'll have to do, I will navigate to the steel tab. In the steel tab, I'll activate the steel column. So in the steel column dialog, I will go to profile, edit the profile, just like this. I want to be using a steel section of a uh, 52 section 52 by 52 by 23 i want to consider 52 by 52 by 30 this this one now click on apply it click on okay now i want to actually set the constraint i want to set the top and then the bottom constraint of this so the top constraint of this is going to be uh, actually Steel can be, uh, I think the height of uh, the length of uh, the steel is up to six meter. So I can decide to have uh, six meter, or I can decide to, uh, you know, fabricate my steel by cutting it at a three meter interval. But for the sake of this lesson and for the sake of education, I want us to go by three three meter. And so I will have three meter as the top constraint, while the bottom constraint will be one meter. All right. So I put one meter here as the bottom constraint. So I will just have to come to this point and click it to insert this steel, just like that. All right. So after which I will deselect this command. After deselecting this command, uh, I think I should make it six meter. So because we are considering uh, the height of this tank to be up to uh, twelve meter. Okay, plus foundation, you now have 30 meter, which is what we're having here. Okay, 30 meter height plus foundation. Okay, and so let us increase this to uh, 6 meter. So I will just click on it. It's even considering it to be, uh, it's considering it to be 2 meter, which is from the foundation. It has added the foundation height. Okay, so if I just select this, hold my control key, be able to select this three. I can just increase this to 7 meter, which is the height of the steel itself is going to be 6 meter. Alright, so if I just change it to 7, I will have something like this. Alright, meaning the, the steel itself is 6 meter plus foundation. Okay, you now have 7 meter. Alright, so after which, uh, I want to copy this to the top of this one. So as to have 12 meter, which is the height of the tank. All right. All 
After being selected to do it successfully, I will just right click and then click on copy. And I'll zoom closely to this point. And I'll make sure I pick this point just like this. Then I bring it up to this same point and then I placed it. Alright. So this height now I've attained a 12 meter height. Okay. Now you the foundation, the ground level starts from here, from this point, the top of this foundation column. Okay. So we want to proceed to adding a want to proceed to adding a uh some braces. So we'll be using uh braces, we'll go to beam, click on the beam in the edit profile dialog you click on this and then you'll be able to navigate to rectangular hollow section which is what i will be considering and i'll be considering this rhx i will scroll down to 100 then i will expand it then i will be able to navigate to 100 by 50 by 5.6 click on applied and then click on ok after which I want to place it here this point and this point just like this you can see so after which I want to after placing it it's not well placed so I'll click this and then I will delete it just like that then go again I intended to pick this point here from that point to this point to have it like this and I'll select this I will change the the depth okay to front click on modify so I will have something like this after which I will have to right click click on copy linear I'll be going in the z direction one meter up okay so I will just need to add one meter here click on copy so I'll have something of this kind, all right? So after which I click on clear, okay? Then I'll be able to delete this previous one like that. I click on this point, beam again. I should be able to have it in this direction as well, just like that. Sorry, it's not well placed. Let me just list that. You pick beam again. I pick this point and that point. Then I'll also click on this double click and I'll be able to copy linear just like that. In the Z direction, I'll go one meter. Click on copy. Okay. I'll have to delete that. So for this one, I'll just click on this. Be able to right click. Use copy. Pick grid line C and copy it to grid line. A. just like that zoom closely to see if it is actually model all right that is the right place i'll select this one as well do the same thing copy green line one to green line three just like that zoom closely to see if it is rightly placed okay so after which the next thing i'll be doing i'll be offsetting this from this point up at a distance of two meter so i'll select the first one hold down my control key just like this and then right click I click on move not even copy i'll use move this time move special linear in the z direction i'm having two meter distance up then i click on move to move it up after which i clear this and click on okay right click and interrupt all right so after you must have done this we want to populate this along this we want to populate this uh this profile along this direction okay so we want it to go by want it to go by two two meter and then we have already attained the first two meter so we just click the first one hold the control key click the other ones okay just like that right click and then you click on uh, copy linear in the copy linear the number we are considering this time is going to be five of this upward all right so after which you just click on copy after being typing 1000 in the z direction click on copy you undo this sorry we are considering 2000 all right so you put here 2000 and then copy 
So you'll be having something of this kind. Okay. So I think doing this like this we actually uh not that effective. All right. So for us to make life easy and to make everything very fast, I think we should undo this, then clear this provision, click on OK and go to the uh application and component. You just have to type here template. Template with considering this template, so just click on that. Okay, click on this T and click on this to place the connection. So you can see the connection here placed, but it required editing. So first of all, interrupt, double click on it. Once you double click on it, go straight to the board. In this board, you can be able to make provision for this. Maybe you can have this to be uh 40. Yeah, we're having two. Of this board at a distance of uh, let's say 150 in that directions okay and then here will be middle okay click on to modify you'll be having something of this kind all right I think this is model enough as you can see all right so after which just click on app modify apply it and okay all right so you just proceed by you know placing the connections successfully for other Provided this connection for other, okay. If you check this very well, you will notice that uh, this is somehow it is somehow uh, extended beyond uh, extended beyond this uh, steel. So what we need to do is we just have to double click on this. Let's just try to edit it. So instead of using one fifty, you can use one twenty here. Yeah? 120 and then this placed you can just change it to 30 just like that and then click on modify you have something of this kind all right in that direction so something like this is model is model enough but you can still adjust it by increasing this so that you can have a a kind of clear distance so if you still consider the 40 and then click on to modify we will have something of this kind come to this side two boats sorry this make it 40 40 there yeah. and there yeah, two then the distance still used uh 120 or just use 100 yeah also this place use 100 click on modify Alright, so this is also not model. You can make here 200. Alright, then this side you can make it. Uh, I think uh, you can make this side. You can make this side uh, 80. Will it be enough? No. Change here to 30, 30, 70. Modify to have something like this. I think this is good enough. So we are good to go with this. All right. So we will click on apply and OK. Activate this again. Select the column and then select the section. To insert it so if you look at it here you can notice there is a clear distance between the boats okay so that is model enough all right so you just apply it to all of this just like that apply it to all of this connection joint so after you after you are through with with it like this, right click and withdraw, interrupt and withdraw. Okay, so you now have to generate this or populate it in the vertical directions. And for you to do that, select this, hold down the control key, select the remaining ones, right click, and then you use copy special linear. So we are considering five. Of this and we are considering a distance 
of 2 meter. Just like that. Click on copy. So you have this copied. But unfortunately, this one cannot go with the connection because there is no enough provision for that connection. Alright, so you click on OK. So now what we need to do is click on this tab, then activate the settings. Then we want to be increasing this tab by a distance of 200. And for us to do that, we need to come to this point where we are having a 13,000. Instead of 13,000, you have 13,200. You have 200 just like that. Click on modify. So you're having something of this kind. Alright, so the, you do the same thing to these other ones. Select this one. Hold the control key, select the domain tree. And then make it 13,300 instead of 200. Click on modify. You have that. Then increase this one by 100. 13,300. Then you modify. So you'll be having something like this. Go to the comp application and components, activate this, then fix these other uh, connections, just like that. All right, so after you must have finished fixing this connection, the next thing you need to do is, let's consider the this base plate okay so select this column hold the control key select this one this one and this one right click and then you will be able to uh, hide that okay after which you come to application and component just type here base then we'll be considering this base plate select it Pick the instruction point, pick the column, and then the instruction point to actually place it. So you'll be having something of this kind. You select the command, double click on this. So in the dialog provision, you can use this. Uh, you can use this controller to adjust the dialog just like this. Then you zoom this closely like this. Go direct to the anchor rod. Come to this base plate with anchor rod just like that and then the rod should return should return like this and come to this place and it should be inside okay the return should be inside you can come to this place activate this uh, washer this one as well all right and then you can as well to activate this one also then you navigate to the modify click on modify to insert the Right, so you cannot go to come to this. Uh, you cannot come to this uh, picture. Uh, the board, All right? Come to the board so that you can be able to adjust this board successfully. So we have a distance from the base plate to be fifty, and we are having two boards, and the spacing between these two boards will be considering a. Uh, 150 or 200 let's use 200 at first then this side the same thing 50 and 50 we're having two boards 200 click on modify to have something like this so this is model enough we are going by this one okay click on okay activate this again and apply this to other columns Select it and then select the instruction point. Select the column, select the instruction point, just like that. Rotate this this way, select this, select the instruction point, and you'll be having something of this kind. So we have done that successfully. We select this, right click, and then click on redraw to have your uh, concrete columns back. So you look at what you're having here. Alright, this is model enough. So we want to proceed to adding the uh, braces. Okay, so for us to be able to insert the braces successfully, we'll be placing point. So that we can be able to insert it in any positions that we intended actually so for us to do that what we'll be doing is just go to edit and then click on the just move it a little click on this point use two point at this two point we want to be looking for the center of this okay click on this and then click on that center to insert a point so this is the point we are considering all right so after which 
you come to this side too rotate this this way find the center between these two points so pick here and then rotate this this way so that you can see this other end and pick there this is the center all right and I, I wouldn't want it there i want it close to the uh i want it close to this station so i'll pick a point there and here i have that okay after which i come to this side and do the same thing i'll have to rotate this way so i can see the end plate then i'll create a point in between this end plate just move it this way then be able to place the point there all right in that direction so coming to the direction you need to do the same thing find the center of this brace go to point again that is it place another one here that point and this point right then you rotate this side rotate here like this all right so we also placed uh, we also place the point at the center of this all right click on okay right click on the view and redo interrupt so we have uh, successfully you know placed point this water stand so let's continue but by then i would like us to continue with placing points for ease of placement of the braces so i will go to the edit tab just like that and then i'll click on these points pick on this one i'll zoom closely to this place i need the point at this center okay so i will Rotate it this way by holding down the control key and the middle of the mouse. I will try to locate this point, this place. Yeah, pick that as my first point. Come to this side, rotate this, and pick here to insert the point at the center of this uh, stanchion. Alright, just like that. I will come to this side and do the same thing. I will rotate. Zoom closely. Pick that point and pick this point. After which, I will also rotate this to ensure that I place a point at the center of this beam. If I pick that and this, I have a point there. You can see the point there. Alright. So, after which I've done that there, I will also do it in this other side. So I will rotate this this way and place point in this place. I pick this first point. Pick that. And then rotate this and then be able to pick this point. To have that point there. All right I'll proceed to the side have one point there another point there to have the point at the center so I'll also place it on the beam All right so I'll be able to check the center of the beam This is to, seems to be the center. I pick that point. I pick that. All right. So now we want to start placing the braces. For us to be able to place the braces, we go to the T tab, and then we we'll pick beam. Rotate it in such a way that you are able to see the point that we just placed. This one. Then pick on the point. Just like that, and then come to this other point on the beam. I picked it to have something like this so having something like this select it so we can change the profile you can now close this one now once it's been selected you come to setting 
in this setting dialog the profile we are going to click on edit profile and then we'll be using an angle profile so we we'll scroll down to check for l profile this one click on it then we we'll navigate to uk x okay expand it and then go to this we'll be using 75 by 50 by 6 this one click on apply and okay modify this the next thing we'll be looking at is the orientation of this angle if you zoom closely you see that the orientation is not actually what we intended so we'll come to this place where you see rotation just turn it below click on modify then after which you check again all right we can go by this orientation then uh the depth you just change it to front click on modify all right so we'll be having something like this this is actually what we expected okay all right so we are going to be mirroring this so we can have it in this other side so, and for us to do that we just have to right click and click on copy special linear mirror just like that and then you will be able to pick this point and then you pick here click on copy to have it in the opposite side just like that okay after which click on ok so this is what we actually expected to have yeah right click and then interrupt all right if you zoom closely here too you notice that the angle is properly placed all right so we will be doing the same thing in this other side which is this side you click on the beam zoom closely to this place where you have the point pick the point the first point and then the second second point after which you zoom closely to check the angle orientation all right this orientation is okay after which you have to now mirror it so you position it in a way that can be easy for you to mirror right click interrupt first select the angle right click and then copy linear mirror zoom closely clear this content you pick the first point you pick the second point click on copy to have it in that side click on ok all right right click redraw zoom closely to check if it is properly placed all right so we have successfully placed the angle there yeah. so we will be placing in this second uh, this second provision so we have a place point so you pick on the angle again and then you zoom closely and rotate this rotate in such a way that you can see the point just like this pick that point pick this one you still have this angle in that direction we want to mirror it as well select the angle right click copy linear mirror zoom closely pick this the point then you click on this point and then click on copy to have that right click and then interrupt after which come to this side we are going to be doing the same thing here activate the beam pick the first point pick the second point if you check very well the angle is not it's not well placed okay it is nice all right select it right click copy linear mirror zoom closely pick the point come down pick this other point then you click on copy to have that click on okay right click and then interrupt so having this now we want to start adding the the gusset uh, plate connection to this and that so for us to do that come to application and component if you just type the micros number which is 11 you have this this is the one we'll be using so select it after which select the beam select the braces the two braces and then click on the body of the mouse to insert it so you have it like this you can see 
But the number of boats we will be having here is only two, but we are having four boats, which is not model enough. And so we are going to be editing that. So you select that, right click, and then interrupt. Double click on this. All right, so once you double click, you'll be having something like this. So you go straight to board one. In this board one, you'll be having a, a distance between this point and this point. I want it to be 30. And here I will be having two, two boats, and then this place I will be having uh, 30 as well. Then here just make it 70. All right. So if we zoom this place so that you can see the changes here, we come to this place. We will be having one in that direction, and then this place uh, we will be having. That here as well, click on modify. So, this is what you are having there, okay? But you can increase so that to have a clear distance between the edge of the gusset plate and the boat. So, uh, for that, you need to change here to uh, let's say 50 and then here 50 for a good clear distance, okay? Then this place now you change it to uh, 100, yeah. Two, we are 50 okay then click on modify so once you click on modify you'll be having something of this kind and this is model enough in that directions so we'll be working on this other boat this one so for us to work on that we'll go to the brace boat 2 which is this one so in this brace boat 2 we will do the same thing I think we are having 50 here okay and then we're having 50 here as the clear distance and then this point we have two boats and then we have a 100 here just like that and this point is one and we are having 50 and then click on modify all right so you'll be having this so we will be going by this one okay after which you just have to click on app apply and okay so if you look at it closely you are having something of this kind so we want to proceed to add this so you just have to rotate this this way zoom closely so we want to place one here so you select this click on the station and then click the braces and click on the window of the mouse you have something like this all right you do the same thing here to have that so just like that fix it there also fix that one come to this second height you pick the beam sorry you interrupt the beam first select it pick the beam first before you pick the braces all right the two braces click the middle of the mouse to insert that pick the column and the braces the middle of the mouse to inside that all right now if you check very well you will notice that this is almost clashing with the uh it's almost clash with with the column here it's because of the mirroring the mirroring was not properly mirrored to this side so it does not start from the center of this uh of this column and that is adjustable okay come to this side rotate it so you can see what you are doing very well just like that pick the column and then you pick the braces click the middle of the mouse to insert it all right pick this beam and the two braces click the middle of the mouse to place that you pick the column click the middle of the mouse to have that you did the same thing here all right so after placing this just like this successfully we want to be copying this to this other side all right so you just have to select this command select this beam Hold the control key, select that one, right click and then click on copy. You pick grid line one like that and then you copy to grid line three to have that. Right, so if you rotate it towards that side, you will notice that the gusset plate is actually uh 
is actually a dollar face of the of the beam so what we need to do is to, to just edit it click on it right click and then uh you click on delete you delete that connection as well as this one you delete the connection or you just select this go to setting all right then where you're having this rotation you're having it to be below so you rotate it to be top and you have it this way do you see so that is what you are supposed to do instead of deleting this uh deleting the the connection like if i undo this now i undo again to have the connection if i just select this one and then i will hold the control key and select this as well all right then come to this uh, rotation and then i will make it top click on modify you see it has automatically changed all right and bring it to this other front so that is how it works okay so we want to proceed so we have copied that we want to also copy from the land a to the land c so we select this brace select this other angle brace right click and then you click on copy okay use this one copy you pick the green line a and copy it to green line c just like that all right right click and interrupt you just have to rotate it this way you do the same thing select this angle or the control key select this one and then the rotation positioning take it to the top and then you modify to have this For the second height, we want to also uh, copy it. So you select this angle brace, select this other one, right click, click on copy, pick grid, uh, pick this grid line one to grid line three. You have that, right click and withdraw. Rotate it towards that side so you can see it very clearly. All right. After which you can select the first brace angle the second one by holding down the control key come to position protection take it to the top modify and you have that so this other side from grid line a to grid line c rotate this this way and be able to hold the control key do the same selection and right click you copy it from grid line a to to grill and see and you have that interrupt okay select the two braces and then rotate it to the top and you have that okay so the next thing that we will be doing now is we are going to populate this to to the last beam okay and for us to do that successfully we'll be going in the vertical direction which is the z axis of the universal coordinate system and so you hold the control key select this first point select the second point the first brace second brace in that direction and do the same thing to be able to select all of this sorry i've done a wrong selection you must be careful select that this that just rotate this rotate it now you can select that okay make sure you hold the control key so you can be able to select all remaining these two Alright, so if you check this one, we have not rotated to the front, it is still coming from the back. Alright. This particular brace is so we will need to do that immediately. So for us to do that, you just have to select this, hold the control key, select this one, and then I uh, take it below. have this all right so let's proceed with the selection pick that with the control key pick that 
pick this pick that all right you can rotate it so you can see the ones that you have not selected very well all right so i believe all is being selected successfully so right click and click on copy special linear all right in the z direction we are going two meter okay upward all right and the number we have already occupied first second all right so we're having one two three and four so we have four of these populated vertically up to the last v beam okay so click on copy let's see what happens so if you click on copy you'll be having this copy it successfully with precision with no changes so you click on ok right click and then withdraw all right so if you turn this round you need to move around to check if there is any changes or if there is any misalignment if there's any misalignment you just have to make a corrections but i believe there is no misalignment there is no changes so this is how you can place this so you can just right click and then click on withdraw to have this all right so we have successfully placed the uh braces just like this and the gusset connections which is very modern just like this and this one like that okay so we will be adding leather as well as a platform to the water stand so let's start so before we proceed we will consider a point between this station that is at green lines c1 and c3 okay so because we consider this top of this foundation column to be the ground level all right so quickly we will go to edit tab and then navigate to point you select in the drop down we pick on the line and so we have already established a center the center of uh, this tension so we'll pick this point at that center and return to this other side we pick up this other point just like that to establish this one in between this tension so after which we want to be placing a ladder that will start from level that will start from this level to the point level all right so quickly we deselect the command or you right click and interrupt click on ok all right then come to application and components and then type ladder so when you type ladder you will we have uh, this ladder x35 click on it just like that and zoom closely to ensure that you pick the center point of this goose plate then you come down to pick the this point all right just like this to insert this ladder just like this so you can just rotate it to actually see the way the ladder looks okay really we are going to adjust this ladder but by then before then we will first of all add a platform at this level okay so for us to do that platform we will make sure we actually uh, zoom closely just like that right click and interrupt we needed a platform of length let's just say like 1200 a kind of a rest before continuation of the ladder and so i want to pick points here so i can look at the center of this would that be easy to look at all right so let me check this side i can look at the center of this beam by picking this point and that point after which i deselect and i will select this point i will select this point you will notice that uh, i want to offset from this point i created to some extent there maybe uh 150 okay 150 mm and this is going to the negative 
y direction so i'll just right click copy special linear the y direction negative 150 just like that and i'll click on copy so that is the point there so going towards the y direction i can also use negative uh 1000 all right so let me just click on ok right click and radio and let i'll close that so let this point now right click and i will be able to copy special again linear in this same direction i will be having 1250 now this 1250 is going to be the uh the width of the ladder so i will be having a negative sign since i'm going backward in the y direction click on copy so if i click on copy i'll be having this point here which is good click on ok right click and interrupt i will zoom closely you see these two points that i have created just like this all right so what i will be doing now is i want to offset this point I want to offset this point in the z direction 1200 these two points now just pick here hold the control key rotate it in such a way that i can see this point very well just like this holding down this control key pick that too so this time around is in the s direction away right click and then click on uh copy linear just like this I will change the I'll clear this first and in the X direction I'll have 120 1200 sorry so I will click on copy to have this point there and here okay so after which I'll click on uh okay so having this point here now it will be easy for us to just add beam and then proceed so I'll right click and interrupt this first and then I will go back to steel tab then select beam come to settings to check that in the setting dialog i am having universal beam so i will want to change the profile of the beam to a profile rectangular hollow profile just like this one and then i will be using uh this the profile we're considering is 100 by 50 all right Consider it under by 50. This one, I click on that, apply it, and okay. So now I want to connect this point to this other so point. All right, so I'll pick here and then I will connect it to this point to have that. All right, after which I want to change, I want to change the position of this. The depth of it is behind. I want to bring it to the front. No, sorry, bring it to the middle and modify so i can have something of this kind if you check very well you rotate it you notice that uh, this is model enough all right so after which we'll go back to beam again connect this point also to this point and then connect that point to this other point you will have something like this okay right click and interrupt so we are going to edit this so let the beam once it's ready beam you come to the uh you come to the at depth and then you take it to uh you take it to front sorry you have this middle okay and on plan you have it uh, right change this to left here we go you have something like that okay so after which you want to replace in more points one other point here uh before then we will go to edit click on the point and then be able to pick this first that first point to locate the center of that all right do the same thing here Pick this two point to have that center, then select this, hold down the control key, and then be able to select this one. 
all right so now we want to be offsetting this this way which is the x uh, direction okay so just right click and then click on copy linear copy special linear then in the x direction we are going 50 just like that click on copy okay zoom closely so you see the points here so right click and interrupt go to the steel tab click the beam pick this point that you just offset it and then pick this other point just to place that all right after which select this and then you come to add depth take it to the uh front it's not front take it to the take it behind so you have something like this so since we are having a space between this these two points we can right click and then use move click this point we don't want to have a space like that i think that is model enough all right so we'll be offsetting this in this direction okay so we'll just click on this i click and then we click on the copy linear the same direction so we'll be moving 50 all right so just one step copy 50 all right click on okay so you have something like this okay 50 is almost bringing this together all right so what we need to do we need to have a little gap but by then we want to deselect the command change the profile which is this profile just like that select this and then in the profile dialog we should be able to scroll down to uh scroll down scroll down to plate profile we'll be considering plate profile okay so uh plate profile here yeah. this one click on it and then we'll be using a a plate of this kind but in this case we are going to consider the height of this plate to be uh the height to be let me just take it to be 100 okay and that is the width click on apply it and okay so if you click on modify you will have something like this okay so after which we want to give a space between this one and this one for us to do that right click copy linear copy special linear and then in the x direction where we want the space to be 50 and then click on to copy uh, 50 all right no 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 undo that right click again interrupt select the plate profile right click select it change the uh class so it will be different from the beam class so how after which you just have to choose any of the classes here modify now right click and then click on to move move sp prof special then in the x direction remove it at 50 click on move just like that okay be selected or you select it again right click again and then you'll be having a you have to copy special linear this time in the x direction space is 50 and then you'll be having about uh, let's say 10 all right 10 will be 520 and then we are 24 or just put 22 just like that click on copy and you have that okay okay it's right click and then click on interrupt you can delete this one now check this one right click and delete this one just like that all right so this is nice so what we need to do now is we want to weigh this to this so what you just need to do come to application and component come to this place and type weight we'll be using this pick this one and this one 
the way that just like that and then do this and this okay do the same thing to this one and this one the same thing to this one and this that one all right we also wait this one this to this all right after you finish that right click and interrupt so we want to be having this plates also in this opposite direction so for us to do that uh, successfully we'll be placing point between this this one so i'll go to point pick on point i pick this first point zoom closely measure the point where this actually ends from there to that point yeah that's good i'll do the same thing here on this one i pick that pick that place i right click interrupt pick select that point hold the control key select this one just like that then right click and i want to offset uh, i want to move this point uh more special linear in the y direction so i'll clear this first so i'll have it at 100 distance away from its original point click on move just like that uh all right i'll change this to 50 let me see what happen and i'll move also okay i wanted to move it backwards so it's going to be minus 100 and i'll move it back okay click on okay apply that right click and click on redraw so i'll move these two points i'll go back to the t tab then be able to pick the beam up to settings that is my plate and i'll pick this point sorry pick the wrong point interrupt that pick beam again zoom closely so you can be able to see the point pick that point come to this side and pick this point so you have something of this kind all right so after which we are going to be populating this in this direction populated it towards this direction and that direction is the y direction negative y direction but by then we can also change the shape of this all right so just to select this one and then we will be able to right click once you right click uh once you right click uh, you can be able to distribute this all right before we populate this we will want to trim this okay so if i select this one now and then can be able to pick all of these ones if you try to select all of this it will actually take some time to select them one by one after being selected like this you can come to uh settings you change this uh, this lane that is 100 you can change it to 50 all right click on modify to have that okay so once you have that you do the same thing to this one before we populate it all right make that adjustment it's very necessary all right so after which the next thing i think we'll be doing which you are going to do later is what i'm going to show you because if you should start doing it with the text longer time all right so you come to application and components then wait use this one you can be able to just click on that select this beam and then the plates to wait it together like that okay so you do the same thing this one click that and this to wait that okay come to this side come to this side we are supposed to wait this to that but this one that's supposed to exist here deselect right click and interrupt select this right click and then be able to move sorry interrupt that select it again right click copy this pick at that edge take it to the edge and drop it all right so you have something something of that kind okay so after which interrupt this now you can select this one right click and then click on copy you pick this at this edge Pick at this edge and then you drop it here. 
All right? So you'll be having something of this kind. Okay? So you can right click on them. Be able to copy it in the Y direction. So you clear this. Come to the Y directions. I have it with space of 50. And then how many of it? In this direction, we have it like 20 of that. Click on copy. So 20 of this is up to this extent. Alright, so you can just pause to undo. Then just click on the copy to have that. Undo it. Click on the undo. Just make it 24. Then copy. I think this is nice. Click on OK. Right click, interrupt. Select this one. Right click and then you can delete it. So you'll be having a, a platform of this kind. Just like this. Okay. You can also use uh, come to edit tab. Then use this path cut to separate this and this one. Just like that. You can see. You do the same thing here. You have something like this. Okay. And also, you deselect that command and make sure you use uh this uh, extension weight to weight this to this so you have something like that that will be model just like that okay so make sure you do those ones on your own we will be placing the ladder in a way that uh, it will be facing this platform all right but before then we will have to insert the rail inside rail yeah along this uh platform so for us to insert that way i've already got in this point and that one we want to have a point here as well okay so you go to edit point click point online click that first point and the second one to have it at the center of that beam you do the same thing here. Click the first point and the second point to have that. You can right click and interrupt. Select this point. We are moving this point to the center. So to some extent here, let's say we will be moving 50 and move to that direction. The direction is the minus x direction. So what you need to do, click on OK there. Right click and then click on move special linear. You clear the content in the x direction, you do minus 50. Click on move so you have that which is very far. So, what you need to do is you can click here to undo it, then change this to 25 minus 25. Okay. Click on move to have that. Click on OK. After you must have done that, I will want us to place another point at this middle. So you click on point on the line. Then pick that middle point. Take your cursor to this other side and place a point there. Alright, I want us to click on this point, right click and then click on offset or copies. Close this first. Right click. Copy this linear. You click that and then in the X direction. Just type minus 200. To have that. Click on OK. Right click and interrupt. 
Now I want to replace it with. So what we need to do is we come to this place and then we type red. If you scroll down, we want to be making use of this one, Andre, this Andre, this one. So you click on it. Once you click on that, you first select the beam. You want the ray to to run along the top. Then pick the point to insert that ray. Just like that. Okay. You do the same thing here. You can select this beam and then click on this point to insert the ray. Just like that. You rotate this this way and do the same thing here. Pick this point and then click here to insert that ray. That's good. Pick this beam. Then pick this point to insert. So after you must have inserted this way successfully like this, just click double click and then click on redraw to have something of this kind. We want to be editing this way. So just click on this way. Double click on it, a dialog will show will come up. In this dialog, in this provision, I will want you to put a spaces of 300, then click on modify. To have some other struct in the system. Therefore, here, yeah, this point, I want you to put 200 here. Click on modify. You have a kind of undo like this. Alright, apply that. Okay, select this one. Do the same thing. Double click. At this point, you have a 300. Here, yeah, 200. Click on modify. You have something like that, which, which is what we actually expected. You do the same thing here. Double click. 300 spaces. Or 200 undo. Click on modify. Apply that. Okay. You can also do the same thing in this place. 300 and 200. Modify. Alright, so after being successfully doing that, you can change this to zero or you reduce that so it will not cover that entrance. Click on modify, remove that. Okay. Apply that. Okay. So you have having something like this. We want to reposition this uh, ladder. So you select the ladder, double click on it, and then we navigate to the part. The rotation parameters and then you come to rotation so it is facing this other side we want it uh, to now be facing this side so you select this one click on modify so you can see it's now facing the platform click on apply it and ok you now need to adjust it this way so for you to do that successfully just have to rotate it like this. You select the ladder. Once the ladder is selected, like that, you can't just uh, right click and then you click on there. Move. All right. We are moving this to some extent so it will be more closer to the landing. Okay. So you just pick a point. Pick a point along here. Then you can now type, let's say, 300. Click on enter. Let's remove this ladder a little bit closer to this. So we are moving it again, maybe at 400 this time. You pick this first point to have a straight line. You have 400. Enter. So if you check now, you can see the ladder is now attached to the platform, just like this. But it is too inside, as you can see. So you can adjust it. So the next thing we'll be looking at is to bring it out a little bit. So we select that, and you will 
right click and then select move pick the first point along this let's move your cursor to this point make sure you have a straight line just like this and then you can just move it 200 away so once you do that you check it you can notice that this has been moved successfully so that is how you can adjust this ladder ladder to be able to fit in to the landing okay so we'll be placing another ladder that will connect from the landing to the top of the tank so we'll come to this point and then type ladder we we'll scroll down to this one ladder s35 the one we used we we'll pick it then we are going to start from the top here so for us to be able to uh, pick this point here now this part will be difficult for us to pick because uh, okay let us just activate this snaps so that we can be able to snap the edge of this so let's just say we are picking from the, that point we'll come down we we'll rotate it so you can see the point right so that is the ladder what we need to do now is you can see the ladder is not up to that height because we picked it wrongly so we just click on undo we'll undo that we pick the ladder again and rotate it in such a way that uh, you can see the exact point you, that you picked and so after which you select it that point and come all the way down here all the way down here so yeah yeah I pick that point then you zoom it out to look at the ladder okay now it's fine the ladder being selected, double click on it again. We go to the parameter. In this parameter rotation, now it is facing this side. We want it to be facing the stand. So we want to be using uh, this one. So you click on that, modify. Alright, just like that. So now we can see we have successfully placed this ladder and we have also successfully placed the uh, rest platform. Click on apply and close this. So this will be looking at fixing the platform for this uh, uh, water stand and see the SP4 which is the final series of this lesson. Alright, so if you have any questions and drop it at the comment section i will respond to that and also if you are new on the channel kindly do it to be liking these lessons that i'm doing it helped me a lot it gave me the morale to bring to you more lessons all right so let's start we want to navigate to the uh to the steel tab and then we'll activate in beam you go to the setting Click on that beam again on the, the profile. We will need to change this profile, so we will consider a profile uh, that that is in the same section with this tension. Okay, so uh, we'll click on this point and then we will navigate to uh, we'll navigate to uh, UKBS. Okay, we we'll go to 152. This 152 by 9. This one will not be okay. Uh, we'll go to this uh, UCs 152 by 152 by 30. We'll be considering this one. Click on apply and OK. After which, we want to be having uh, from this point, center point to this center point of this column. You have something of this kind. All right. Click on it. 
also click on that you can't i want to position it at the depth of this front click on modify so it will be on top of this beam and so i will be having an extension of 900 for the purpose of working about the top of the water tank you have the 900 and the start point will be 900 as well just like that click on modify all right add the minus here then remove the side the minus here come modify you have something like that okay so pick the beam again and then you do the same thing starting it in the side using the same constraint setting to rotate it so you can see this one and place it at the center this beam Right, so after placing that the next beam we'll be adding is we'll be adding beam as well also on top of these beams all right beam with this same uh, beam with this same uh, uh profile or we can decide to change the profile to a smaller one uh so that uh, it will be uh, lighter all right the 120 120 seven by this click on apply that okay all right that one and then sorry we are trying to modify this one so we deselect that command right click and interrupt rotate this this way click on the beam change the profile to universal beam come to this point and then uh we're having 120 seven here so you use that one apply that okay and then you pick the center point of that come to this side and as well pick the center point of that so you'll be having something of this kind right so if you notice that uh, this is a little bit <laughs> shift away from that point so we want to be moving it in such a way that it's in line with that with this beam okay so you just have to select that beam check the direction where the beam is actually going uh towards the x axis so zoom it closely we are to be moving this when i click click on move so you just rotate it so it is like this and then pick this point move your arm this way this is 20 pick it i click and move again okay it's even a little bit far so let's move it again move it 20 all right i think we can go by this all right all right so after having this we want to populate this in this direction of x so we need to know how many of this that would actually if it's into this place so be selected like this right click just uh have to click on copy linear copy special linear we are going in the x direction so we want to be copying it for a space of uh, 600 and the number we just have to consider let's say 10 and see the extent click on copy and you have that all right so having this copied successfully right click and let it interrupt close this clicking on okay click on this one hold the control key click on that beam also delete all right so so we have set out the platform just like this okay so what we now need to do is we are going to start placing the grids so for us to do that for us to do that we need to <coughs> We need to have uh, this beam so we have to have extent here yeah? all right so uh, we want to 
let's pick on this bin and then we want to reduce this uh, end offset so this bin ends will be in line with the top of this uh column so for us to do that uh let's check which of the ends this uh, okay which of the ends are we going to reduce so we click on this and click on that then you come to this end make it zero you can modify so it has actually affected this side so we want now extend this to be in line with this uh to be in line with the the column end just like this all right that's good enough come to this side and do the same thing select this one and reduce this to zero click on modify then zoom closely click on this point hold it and extend it drag it to be in line with this just like that all right so after which what you now need to do is you want to move this uh, beam a little bit closer to this uh, the edge of this one so for us to do that just to select this beam right click and then click on move also click on move and decide to pick it maybe from somewhere here you can take it to this place you have something like that so that is good now all right so you want to have placed grids gradients on this uh, platform now so we we'll still use beam all right so once you click on beam you pick this uh point pick this point and then move all the way actually before then let me select it pick it at this point pick the beam again pick at that point then come to this point and then pick it to have it just like that they select the command select the beam and uh select the beam reduce move this end offset to zero modify that is it then the depth uh this depth take it to behind modify so if you check it if you check it now you will notice that uh, it is in line but this beam and this one are not the same beam so what you just need to do is to change the profile of this beam so you click on this and then you look at beams click on that come to this profile select this profile apply it and okay and you have that once you click on modify all right you have that so you come to this place and choose a middle and then you have this so this is what i actually expected to have so you just click here drag it so that it is in line with this one just like that come to this place and do the same thing click on this point and extend it so it's you have it in line make sure the line is straight see the line is not straight that is why you're having this okay so just click on undo to have that select it again and adjust it again all right running a bit of distance okay it's even more than all right let's just leave it like that rotate it to this side and do the same thing click on beam pick the center of the existing beam go all the way to this side and then click on this center point just to place it after we select the command select this beam and extend it sorry i didn't maintain a straight line so make sure your, your hand is straight click on it and pull it 
pull it in such a way that it's, it is in line with the edge of this beam, just like that. Come to this side and do the same thing. All right, you have that. So after which, what we need to do is to weigh this one to this, okay? To weigh this beam to this one. So just come to application and component. You can just type weight. So we'll be using this one. Click on this. Select this beam, All right? Apply that, okay? Select this beam and this one to weigh it together. So you can see the it's being weighted now. You can see, look at it here. All right? So you do the same thing to this one. All right. Sorry. I'll do that. Select this one first. Interrupt. Pick the beam. Select this one first and select this. Just like that. Select this one first. Select this. All right. So after doing that, I right click interrupt. Click on the uh, view, and then <coughs> redraw. Once you redraw, you have something like this. Click on that again. On the weight uh, preparations again. Now the gaps between this point, you can adjust it if you wish. If you check here, you can see a gap here. This gap, all right, between this beam and this beam, you can adjust it here. All right, so you just click and apply that. Okay. I want to just uh, continue to wait this one to this, just like that. Oh, sorry. Undo this. Undo that. We are waiting this to this one. Enter up. Select the beam again. Pick this one and pick this. So where it does like that. All right. Right click interrupt and withdraw. To have this model. I think this is model enough. Okay. So now I want to replace the the gradients. On top of this, and for me to do that successfully, I'll go to beam again, activate beam, go to setting. In the setting dialog, I will be changing this profile. I want to change this profile to to uh, this other profile. To plate profile, this one. I'll be using alum grids. Okay, this one. So I'll change the height of this to 100. To 100. And then the thickness of this, I'll change it to 15. Pick up, apply that. Okay. I'll change the distance to this. That is the last. Okay. So what I just need to do is to pick this point, this first point here. I'll just zoom closely and be able to take that point. Take that point. Come all the way to this side. I also take here to place this. All right. I click interrupt. Sorry, this is one thousand, which is not intended. Click modify to have this. So this is what I actually hope to have. Okay. After having this, you come to this place, take it to the front, the positioning, and you will be having something of this, like this. Alright, so we are going to populate this through all these directions. So select it. Check the directions of the 
universal coordinate system you are going y you are going y and it is y uh, positive right click and then copy special linear you clear this content and then you are having it 50 in that direction and how many do i have 50 in that direction let me just say 120 of that 120 of that so like that click on copy Do not expand so the 120 of that is much so you can as well undo <coughs> undo and then instead of 120 you just put like 50 then click on copy and you can see 50 is small still undo change this 50 to 100 100 copy so this is 100 because to change it to 110 and then you copy this is 110 do to change it to 115 This is 1015. Alright. <laughs> As you just add 50 in this direction, you can just quickly change this to 115. Uh, just like that. And click on copy. You have that. So click on OK. Right click, interrupt. Then you can just turn it this way you see it just like this so this particular one you can just click on this last one you delete that so you're having the gradients just like this so you want to also be placed, placing it in the opposite direction so just click on this uh, on the beam <coughs> if you zoom closely and you'll be able to pick this point to be your starting point take it all the way to this side And then you can be able to pick this point to be an ending point so you will have it something like this so for this one we want to be changing it to an irregular shape so we select that come to profile so in the profile you scroll down you see an irregular shape here yeah. profile irregular shape profile if i should scroll down yeah this one click on that then we'll be using this orthogonal so you can see we haven't you need to be on 100 and then here 50 so we just want to change that to 50 and then we change that to uh, 30 50 yeah the i2 starting just like that click on apply that okay so if, if you just click on modify you see the changes on this one it will look like this all right why is it looking like this is because we change this to from 100 to 50 so if you make this 100 you attain the height of that just like that and for this place of 50 make it 100 as well so you just have to just type 100 there so you'll be having something of this kind all right but if you don't want something like this you can just proceed with the other settings that you have it also uh works as well all right so if you decrease this place now to 150 you're having something that is almost at the same height with this one let's get that to the 170 so we finally have something like this have something like we want to populate it in this direction so if you check the direction the direction is uh, negative x rotate this thing this side 
Notice that it goes negative x. So the top top of it being selected like this. You just have to double click, right click, and then copy special linear to clear this content and in this direction. You give it the distance 50 and then you give it to uh, the numbers 115. Make a copy. Sorry, it's negative, it's supposed to not expand. It's negative, you're supposed to add. I must do. Look at that. So I'll be just click on OK, right click, redraw, select all of that, and then you right click and delete, right click and then you delete it. Just come closely here, yeah, and so you can see it doesn't give any spacing. Let's see how it looks. All right, it does not give any spacing. So this is how the greatest looks. But the normal sense is supposed to have some spaces between it. Okay. So let's proceed. If you are, if you undo this, and we are left with this, we can select this one. Right click and then go through linear again. So instead of 150, you can just make it uh, 100 and 50, and then reduce here to 105. Click on copy. So you can see this person is is big now. I'm just trying to show you how these things work. So this is this person now. You notice you are spacing these ones now. Alright. So I think this is nice. Okay. This is nice. So I just click on OK. Right click redraw. And I can just highlight this ones. Right click and then delete that. Do the same thing here. Right click and then delete. Come closely to do this first too. Click on this one for the control key. Click on that right click on it. You can just be having this. So, having fixed that, we want to be placing the the ray. Okay, we want to place the ray, the hand ray. So, for us to do that, you go to edit tab, check on this point, and then you can be able to pick this first point this last one to place the point at centers of this beam just like this I'll come to this side and do the same thing pick their point sorry get out of that get out of that point there Come to this place. And you do the same thing here. So after you must have done with the point, click on OK. I click interrupt. Select this point now. Right click and then I'm moving this point. Pick this edge. Move your hand along this point. Place that point there. That is the point I want the point to be. Be placed. Okay. We take this. This. Pick the point. Right click. Click on move. Pick this edge to get to the middle of this beam. Click to place the point. Come to this side, select the point right click, move, click that, and place it there. We want to start to place the the Andre. So we will quickly go to we we'll quickly go to application and component 
in this provision we type Android so we'll be using this one so we click on it just like that click on the beam you intended to place the Android on then click on the point of insertion which is this point to place the array just like that do the same thing to this beam select the beam and then uh, you click on this point, point on this point to insert the to place the array just like that and then coming to this side select this beam click on this point to insert it all right so we want to insert the array from this point to a distance somewhere here so it doesn't cover this place for us to be able to do that successfully we will need to create points as well we need to create some points here uh, it actually seems that uh, this uh, this uh, particular plate is somehow covering the beam so we can just remove that right to have a smooth surface of the beam so we want to select this point and then we right click and then click on to move or we we'll just uh, interrupt that select the point again right click and click on to copy so we we'll pick the points copied it from here Oh, sorry, it's copy wrongly. Interrupt that. Copy the point from this edge. Go all the way to this edge. Make sure you zoom closely so you can be able to place it correctly. Yes, that is it. And also, that point being copied, take it to this point also. So take this. place the point there all right so now for us to place the for us to place the the way we also go to edit and then we've placed one point here between this line or I can just use pick at any point pick at that point right click interrupt select the point right click click or move click this point and look at the center of this the center of this beam Alright, we can leave it at that position. And so we pick the ray. Select this. And then pick this point to place it. Just like that. Okay. We also pick this point too. Select the ray too. As in the beam, pick that point. So this one is coming from this side. So we'll undo that. All right, so that is it. We will be editing this ray. Click on OK to close that. Double click on this. We want to be having a, a spaces of uh, 300 between that, and then we'll be having also 300 as the ray. And to click on modify, that is the changes. Okay, double click on this one and do the same thing. 300, 300 there. Yeah. Click on apply. Sorry, modify. We have that. Do the same thing here. 
double click on this this way and then you give it 300 in that provision and 300 in this provision click on modify now double click also on this way and do the same thing click on modify you have that all right so in this small provision this small provision we are supposed to have a rear but before we can have a rear we need to split this uh, beam split this beam into two for us to be able to do that click on apply and okay all right so for us to split this beam we just rotate this uh so we want the really to start from somewhere here so for us to be able to split this beam we click on split this one select this beam and then select the point you wanted this beam to to split i want it to split at this point so i will zoom closely and then be able to click on that point so once i click on that point you will notice that this beam is split all right so i will split this beam like this we may not necessarily leave it like this we may have to either weigh it together or we use splice okay to join this beam together so if you come to this place and you just type splice x uh up. and then you scroll down you can use this one this column splice to also work and how do you use that how do you use that you can just have to click on it select this first beam select the second beam to insert the splice just like that All right that is how it works so after which you can now go back to the weight uh, the andre select this andre like this pick this one and then you can be able to select this beam now and then pick this point to be the first point to extract it so you have something like that all right so that is how you can do that a little editing to be able to insert uh, this so this is our uh platform where we are going to place the water tank all right so if i right click click on the view right click and redraw you have something like this this is model enough you can see everything is accurate and in place all right so coming to this uh place we want to weigh this and this together so you just go to wait remove that and then select wait want to wait this one and this one so you use this select this one and this one to weigh it together all right you are supposed to use splice here but if you use splice here it will affect this uh uh this template condition so you just have to weigh it just like that okay so you do that to other uh the other places that supposed to have that uh, weight symbols here okay like that and then uh you check here this one the way it's all right so that is it for this beam that is on top of this uh, stanchion what we need to do we can also weigh this beam together clicking on this beam and this stanchion weigh them together i think that will be model enough that will be model enough click on this and that to weigh it all right so you do the same thing here you just place it in a way that you can see it so that you can be able to take this and this to weigh it together all right so this is the water tank so uh we will call the class to a close for today and then we'll look forward for the next lesson kindly like this lesson if you are new on the channel subscribe for more advanced lesson and stay tuned. Bye for now.